Hey there! Blizzard recently added the new Capture the Flag or CTF mode alongside the new map Ayutthaya. In this video, we'll give you our interpretation of the freshly updated Capture the Flag game mode in Overwatch. In this video, we're going to talk about two things. The new rules that apply to the flag carrier, what abilities you can and cannot use without dropping the flag, and strategies to win the match. Let's start with the former. In the patch notes we can find some information about the new rules for Capture the Flag. There are two big changes. Number one is that Blizzard has decided to prevent the match from drawing as much as possible. If the timer runs out and the team scores are equal, it goes to a sudden death, meaning that the flag will be moved more towards the center of the map and the first one to capture and score the flag wins. The second rule that they changed is the one that restricts you from using pretty much any mobility or self-sustain ability. There are exceptions and we tested which ones you can and cannot use. The ability you cannot use are too many to list, so we'll just put it on screen. Simply put, any dash, jump, speed up or untargetable ability will drop the flag. From Genji's dash to Trace's blink, still there are a few exceptions. Farah can use her hover jets to stay in the air, but not her jump jet or concussive blast. Surprisingly, McCree can use his combat role. Torbjorn can use his molten core ability. Genji can use his deflect, double jump and wall climb. Arisa can use her fortify. Rodok can use his take a breather. And sadly, Lucio was able to wall ride, but they patched that out, so that's not possible but he can still use his sound barrier while carrying the flag. The other sustain ult that can be used is Torbjorn's Molten Core while carrying the flag, which was quite a surprise to me. The information that we've gathered lets us apply a couple of strategies. Tip number one, and it may sound obvious, but pick tanks and let them carry the flag. They simply have the most sustainable and lowest drop chance. Zarya, Roadhog or D.Va all work especially since they can use sustain abilities like Breather or Defense Matrix. Alternately, alternatively Zarya can bubble the flag carrier, making her a good pick on the side as well. Tip number 2, once again pretty obvious, but pick a Lucio. This ability to wall ride makes him a great flanker to capture the flag, but more importantly sticking around with the tanks and using the speed boost and sound barrier makes it very effective. Sorry, you combine? Tip number three is Qua Tank with Lucio and Moira. The sustain is unreal, plus the Moira charges her ult incredibly fast, which in turn can be used to push in and out of the enemy's spawn. However, defense requires a different plan. Qua Tank doesn't have the damage output to stop a push quick enough. For the sake of defense, I would recommend damage, thinking of Bastion or Junkrat. Plus Junkrat's, Junkrat's Steel Trap on the flag is a great addition to prevent the enemy from capturing it. Tip number 4 is don't use Torbjorn in a defensive strategy. I'll explain why. The current version of Capture the Flag is about dominating the center of the map. From there you want to force a team fight and then push once you have enough picks. Torbjorn is completely useless in this strategy on both attack and defense. On attack it's still a Torb, so besides his ultimate he isn't going to do much, making your team essentially lose one player. And on defense he won't work because the turret doesn't have enough damage output to do anything at all when the enemy team pushes in altogether. Tip number 5 is if you decide to go for a hard defensive setup I prefer you to pick a Bastion or Risa to at least have enough distraction for the enemy. A Mei works quite well in this comp as well because she can stall the enemy team on both sides, either to stop them from pursuing the, your flag carrier or to stop them from getting your flag at all. This could work because if you kill enough enemies you could turn the push into a push for your own. This about sums up my personal experience for the first few days I played Capture the Flag competitive. After my placements I ended up with 3400 SR, which is quite a bit higher than my regular competitive rank. 
I played with uh, Toxic Bigfoot and Peaceful Panda, and we used the quad tank comp a lot, and it worked great. Anyway, I hope you learned enough from this guide on Capture the Flag. If you found this video helpful or not helpful, feel free to let us know in by leaving a rating. If you have any strategies that uh, I missed that you find that work really well, then feel free to let me know in the comment section down below, because we're very keen on learning new ways to play Capture the Flag. Any feedback in general is also welcome. Have a beautiful day, and hopefully we'll see you next time.